Echo Entertainment Group had a goal to position the star as the pre-eminent entertainment destination in Australia. We looked and wanted to create something which was an international high caliber project for Sydney to be proud of. This three-stage $860 million plan included delivery of a new five-star hotel, refurbishment and expansion of the existing casino gaming and retail area, and the construction of a brand new rooftop entertainment venue. And it all had to be done while the casino kept its doors open. This project was live environment, an environment that never ever slept, and a client that really knew what they wanted and, and we wanted to exceed their expectations. So when you put that kind of pressure on yourself, it's a pretty hard job. With construction kicking off in 2009, the first piece of the Star Jigsaw was the construction of the casino's new front door. Facing the challenges of limited site access and the live gaming floors, the final result is extraordinary. Reorientated to face the harbour, the casino now has an impressive and highly visible entry statement. We redesigned it with the intent of making it more transparent, opening up the ground floor plane and more iconic architecture. In addition, we saved $5 million and I think the, the end product speaks for itself. Included in the casino works was the extension of the main gaming floor by 3,000 square metres, including an open gaming area of 1,600 square metres, retail space, an upmarket food court, feature restaurants and a nightclub. The biggest hurdle? Extending the gaming area while not disturbing the gamers. We had to construct a temporary wall that separated the construction works from the uh, customers. And that wall was over 10 metres high, had to be fire rated, acoustic and waterproof. With construction of the Star underway, work on the Darling began. Designed and constructed by Brookfield Multiplex, the Darling was the first five-star hotel to grace Sydney in 10 years. Featuring 12 unique floors, the hotel comprises guest rooms, executive suites and five penthouses. It also offers guests an exclusive day spa and 25 metre lap pool. Winning the best new hotel in the world in the design and construction category at the International Hotel Awards, the Darling has fast become the place to stay when visiting Sydney. The final piece of the Star project and the most complex was the multi-use entertainment facility. Considering it sits right above the gaming floor, it's quite an engineering feat. We had to upgrade uh, columns all the way from the basement just to support the structure, which meant upgrading through car parks, through live gaming, just to give us more capacity to build this structure. The structure itself is 900 tonnes of structural steel uh, distributed through eight columns. Just given the shape of this building and how we had to build it, it was extremely tough. The key design feature is a triangulated translucent glass facade. Replicating the multifaceted geometry of a gem, the venue comes alive at night with an impressive light display. Accommodating up to 4,000 people, this new facility is bound to be a star performer when it comes to attracting international entertainment events and functions. The star was a project that took a year of pre-planning and three years of execution. While it did have its challenges, all stages were delivered on time and on budget and the project has been a great success for client Echo Entertainment. I think the key thing that Brookfield Multiplex did was that they listened to us. They didn't come in uh, believing that they understood our business completely, but they listened to what we had to say and absorbed that and then factored it into how they were going to build the complex. They're a great bunch of guys. From the top down, they're real people. They are not scared of having real conversations and honest conversations which is what you have to have when you're taking on such a large project.